Hello, this is Dave Myers with Paper Trail Financial. This week's screencast is for people who may be new to QuickBooks. I'm going to show you a few ways to locate transactions inside of QuickBooks once you've already entered them into the system. When I was new to QuickBooks, one of my first frustrations with it, when I was still learning to find my way around, uh, was trying to locate transactions that I had already entered. I already knew the accounting and the debits and credits behind the transactions, but that didn't help me know what happened to the information once I clicked the Save and Close button. The simplest way to find a transaction that was just entered uh, is to back into it. For example, if we open the Invoice dialog, you can see in the top left there's a Previous and Next button. When I click the Previous button, we can see the invoices in the order they were entered. And this works on almost all screens. We go to Receive Payments. It also allows you to uh, toggle through them, uh, Record Deposits. It works also with uh, Enter Bills. We can back through the entered ones. Um, write Checks also. Now for me, the most efficient way to find transactions is to use the centers. Um, their shortcut icons are located on the left hand side of the screen. For example, I'll open the customer center. Uh, it allows you to filter from the customer list on the left hand side. Um, and on the right hand side, on the lower portion, it will show that customer's transactions. You can scroll through them and see the summary on the right hand side. And the transaction list can also be filtered using the drop-down menus. Here I'll change it to All Transactions. Um, you also have the option to filter by uh, dates. And just below the drop-downs, you can sort the list by clicking on one of the columns. Here I've sorted from the largest transaction to the smallest transaction. And you can double-click on any transaction to drill down and see the detail. On the top left, we can switch from the Customers and Jobs tab to the Transactions tab. Here we can view transactions sorted by type. Uh, for example, I'll use Sales Receipts and we can see one. And again, you can just double click to drill down and see the detail. We can scroll through the list on the left to view other types of customer transactions. You can also trace transactions backwards through the statements. I'll open a Profit and Loss Report and change the dates to all. Here uh, we can drill down on an expense account to see a transaction detail report and from there we can drill down again to see the actual transaction. Now QuickBooks has a database query function. Uh, to open it you just need to go to the edit menu and select find um, or I'll close this out and conversely you can just hit control F to open it. One of the drawbacks of using the find function is that you have to select a transaction type. In this case it's set the invoice so if I click find we'll bring up every invoice in the database. From here we can filter it further. I'll put in some dates. We'll just put in the month of September. And if we click find now we'll see all invoices for all customers uh, during that time period and we can drill down and see the detail. There's an advanced tab on the top left that allows you to filter transactions uh, just like in a report. Uh, for example on the left we can filter by item and um, from the drop down from the item list I'll just choose one and find and we'll see all transactions involving that item and again we can drill down to see the actual transaction. Now in previous versions of QuickBooks, to do a search engine type search, you needed to have Google Desktop installed. Uh, but starting in 2011, there's a search feature built into QuickBooks. This allows you to search for not only transactions, but also names from lists, like the customer list, uh, the vendor list, or the employee list. To open search, uh, just go to the Edit menu and select Search. Um, or I'll close this out, and even easier is just press F3. Now just like in search engines, um, it's not case sensitive, but it is spelling sensitive. For example, I'll put in Chili's, um, but without the apostrophe like it's spelled in the company file, and we'll get zero results. So instead, I'll alter the search to just the first four letters, C-H-I-L, and when we search again, we get multiple results. You see the first one being 
uh, the actual customer. And when we open it, it opens the customer center. Now if we want to filter these, we can uncheck one of the check boxes at the top. I'll take out customer and now we just have invoices and if I hover over one of them and click open, it brings up the invoice.